Hey Taurus Collective, what's up ball gang? Welcome to the channel, welcome back if you have been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. Let's get this love reading done. We are going to also deal with some shadow work and some money, um, a money card, okay? Your career, your finances, okay? But mostly about love. So let's see what's going on here. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Flip the roles if you need to. Could be past, present, future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. We have lightning strikes. Dismantle outdated ways of being to get a fresh start. So this is like the tower. Scorpio Aries energy. You could be on the Aries Taurus cusp. Have Scorpio Aries in your chart. We'll be dealing with a Scorpio on Aries. We have pregnancy tests. Unsure, pregnancy scare, and positive, negative. Ooh. Somebody pregnant? Somebody thinks they're pregnant? Hmm. Okay, then we have having hope. Navigate your shadows with compassion and gentleness. Grace, kindness, and self-care. Why am I getting cancers reading yesterday? Y'all can have cancer in your chart. You could even be connected to a cancer. Hmm. For some of you, a relationship could have ended because somebody else got pregnant. Okay. Wow. Okay, look at your money. We have feast. It is time to celebrate your hard work and even your small wins. An unexpected income or pay raise is on the horizon. Nice. So y'all know the saying feast or famine, right? We all had those ebbs and flows in life where we go through um, the ups and downs financially. This is when you're on the upside of it, okay? So some kind of pay raise, increase, good financial news. It could even be just some money falling into your lap. It could be a small amount of money. It could be a large amount of money. Um, this card is looking like the holiday time. It looks like they're having Thanksgiving dinner or something. So something could be significant about the holidays when it comes to your career. That could be when this pay raise or promotion or even a new job or unexpected money will come in for you. Let's see what's going on with this mess. Okay, this mental outdated ways of being to get a fresh start. I mean, obviously, you could be going through some kind of metamorphosis, transformation. Um, you could be shedding some old skin, some old beliefs. But I really do feel, let's just see. Let's just see. I'm not going to try to jump ahead. The chariot, the ten of pentacles. Well, I feel like whatever you're moving towards, no matter what has happened in the past, is very successful. This is a long-term relationship. This is longevity, being set for life, okay? And some of you, this person could be at a distance. Somebody could have like a trucking business, be a truck driver, something about a vehicle here. This could be the way somebody makes their money. That's just a sidebar. But this is you um, overcoming any obstacles here to find your longevity, a secure, stable relationship, something built on a solid, firm foundation. Could be with a Virgo or Cancer. Or like I said, you could just have Cancer in your chart. This is something that's racing into you, racing towards you. You're forever person. So for some of you, this is after you release someone else. What is this? The lovers. <laughs> Gemini energy, yeah. This is your cosmic plus one coming in. But you might have to think outside the box. I think I told you all that the other day. Because it's telling you to dismantle outdated ways of being. So there's some things here you have to overcome within yourself before this person can come in. But they are coming. And it looks like rather quickly, you may already be, yeah, this is a painful ending. Some kind of betrayal. That's also the energy of a hex or a curse. So for some of you, you may have been connected to someone. And the, the, the connection could have been under spiritual attack. Okay, but your person is actually making their way to you. You have a fresh start with someone who is your other half. This is a match made in heaven. This is your kingdom spouse coming in. Your forever person. A Gemini, a Virgo, or Cancer. So what's pregnancy test? The two of wands. The five of swords. Aries, Aquarius energy. Okay, some of you are born on the seventh, the tenth. The sixth, the fifth, the second. The eight of swords, Gemini energy, and the four of swords. Libra energy. A lot of swords here. Somebody could be just afraid that they're pregnant here. I'm seeing a lot of worry. Hmm. Were y'all the ones yesterday I told you might be pregnant? 
by somebody but also detaching from them i can't remember if that was y'all or not i think i said that to y'all yesterday what was y'all reading about yesterday look at my notes oh you know what i don't think i wrote it down yeah. okay wait taurus yeah smoke and mirrors it was about smoke and mirrors the smoke is clearing I'm trying to make sense of this. Somebody could be debating whether they want to have a baby or not. Maybe you're pregnant and you're not sure if you want to go through with the pregnancy. That's very specific. Don't take it if it's not your story. But somebody is definitely thinking about something here. Both of these cards are like, this is worrying. This is stress and doubt. And this is more like meditative, just like thinking about something. There's something that's overwhelming someone and they can't get it out of their head. So it could be a pregnancy or maybe... It's a past person that got someone else pregnant. Because I actually feel like this is like the straw that broke the camel's back. This is self-sabotage. And it could be somebody that went back to someone from their past and got them pregnant. I don't know. Let's get more. Because I don't want to just leave y'all with that. Even though I don't want to stay on this too long. Because I don't really feel like this is your energy. But some of you it could be. I mean, obviously you could find yourselves pregnant by your new person if you're still young enough to do that this is definitely someone who wants to build an empire they want to have children they want to you know share a last name with you but i feel like this might be a past person three of cups to the six of swords this is a, like a um a spiritual reconciliation it's like a spiritual partner that you're reconciling with like from a past life or something Cancer and Aquarius energy. Eight of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Virgo and Taurus energy. So Taurus, this is your energy of feeling like you're left out in the cold. You were trying to work on something. I told y'all this the other day. This is you diligently working on something. Something was making progress, but it didn't end up fruitful at all. It ended up with you feeling out, left out in the cold. And this could be a third party. Maybe some of you disconnected from this person. I, I'm not getting a good energy from this pregnancy, card, this pregnancy card. I feel like, and this can be two people becoming one, either through marriage or a baby, offspring. And for some of you, this is what made you move away from this person. They got a third party pregnant. I'm going to move on. Because either y'all are pregnant or you're not. And... Um, I don't feel like this is your energy. It feels like this is why you left someone. It's like this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. What's having hope? Queen of Cups with the Four of Cups. Strong Cancer. Knight of Swords with the Knight of Cups. Here you are. So there's two people showing up again. Always an air sign and a water sign. So for some of you, the air sign is your past person. The water sign is your new person. Okay? You were loving someone that you have conflict with. You know, you two could be like an on again, off again situation, um, situationship. I didn't mean to say that, but that's exactly what probably I needed to say. Okay, where you were giving love, this person was hot and cold. It says having hope. Navigate your shadows with compassion and gentleness, grace, kindness, and self-care. That's what the Queen of Cups represents. So it's like in the past, you were nurturing someone that was hot and cold with you. And I think we've talked about that. She can be self-sacrificing and it's like it got tired. And now you're rejecting that. And you have a new love offer coming in from someone else who is more emotionally available. They still feel younger than you. This person is 20 to 35 years old. And at the most, they are in their early 50s. But usually when a knight shows up, especially in relation to a queen, this person will be slightly younger than you. It could only be a matter of four or five years based on the ages of these cards, right? Because she can be 30 years old and over. And this person is 20 to 35. And like I said, at the most in their early 50s. So it could just be like a five year. I'm hearing four or five year age difference. Some of you are born on the fourth, born on the sixth, the third, the fifth, the eighth. What else? The fourth. I think I already said that. Let's see what's going on with this feast. What's going on with your money? Oh, yeah. Growth and expansion, baby. This is nice. This is when you're very close to success, okay? You can taste it. You can you can taste it. Feast. <laughs> this is making very good investments here, very good decision making that leads you to some kind of success. What comes after this is the four of wands, something very stable. Okay, this could be something you're finding online or this could be some kind of opportunity abroad where you have to travel or move. Aries energy. 
what else but it's definitely growth and expansion building blocks you could be really really like able to see almost into the future with this like you know you have made some good investments here oh my god the empress sitting pretty you taurus libra energy abundance prosperity you got some real good money coming in i mean and she does represent pregnancy so for some of you you may be getting pregnant it could be around christmas time thanksgiving time that you find out or that you have a baby maybe you're already pregnant because like i said some of you may be the devil the two of swords you know some some of you were dealing with someone who was having an affair with someone that they work with Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra. Some of you are also ignoring and blocking a toxic ex, somebody that had you in an unhealthy relationship, and you're coming into a union with someone that you're going to have a lot of physical attraction to, but you two are also going to be really good teammates, team players. Understand that there's strength in numbers, okay? You're only as strong as your weakest link. So this is when you say, okay, who do I want to build a bridge with who do i want to build with in general right somebody that sees you as a worthwhile partner and vice versa this is nice this is collaboration teamwork commitment very good energy also a learning curve so some of you have definitely learned a lesson from a past person you're reading them all over the place i still don't understand this pregnancy part i feel like it's not you i feel like it's somebody else but some of you could be getting pregnant since the empress came out your person, your new person could be at a distance or a job could be at a distance. I'm seeing you move. You got the six of swords. You got the three of wands. You got the chariot. <laughs> okay, but this is your forever person that's coming in. Advice for you. Guilt free. Okay. So spirit is telling you to indulge in something that you enjoy. Some of you may have a sweet tooth. Y'all know we like to eat. You could even be finding a way to make like desserts or things like that. In a guilt-free way, maybe with less sugar, maybe using sugar alternatives, monk fruit. If y'all don't know about monk fruit, let me tell y'all, monk fruit is the move. It's very expensive. They sell it on Amazon if you can't find it in your local grocery store. But I like it. To me, it tastes very similar to sugar, and I don't feel like I'm missing anything if I need to use it, okay? So you might be doing something like this. Some of you could even bake for a living. I think we talked about this the other day. But you could be finding a way to make things that you really enjoy a little less unhealthy. Don't care if you don't like me. Okay. <laughs> For some of you, somebody could be watching your social media. I'm trying to see. Let's see. I'm trying to see. It looks like somebody's looking out of a window or patio door at you as you're running by or something and it's like this person acts like they don't see you act like they don't care they ain't liking your post on social media or maybe even saying anything to you but they still watching and you're like i don't care if you don't like me you can have a dog you can take your dog for walks or runs or something and somebody could be watching you it feels like you're happy okay doing nothing is fine too you might be finding yourself being a a little more lazy here i mean you do have the four of swords this is rest rejuvenation it could be a vacation coming up for you six of swords three of wands four of swords some of you could definitely go on vacation soon the next four to six weeks for some of you it could even be three days from now we have inhale exhale yeah i feel like you're getting your bearings you're cutting off a toxic situation here you're ignoring or blocking someone that hasn't been healthy for you yeah and it hasn't been easy i can tell it has not been easy but that's what I'm seeing for you, my fellow bulls. I will see you all next time. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.